Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this level 1 noob with the combat fight style, unlock the god human fight style, and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Did you know that you need more than 24 million bellies to unlock the god human fight style? Also a requirement guys, you need to buy all the fight styles. <laughs> so if you want to unlock that fight style, let's start grinding. So first off the bandits, don't worry we have the quick tackle. This is multi-target and that is enough to defeat bandits. Okay, you can also use your M1 left clicks. Here it is. So guys, our target level here is level 10. For the stats, all the stats will go to your melee, okay? 25 melee. Next up, the Fountain City. Wait a minute! Yes, we are going to grind Gali Pirates, okay? You're just gonna use your M1 left clicks to defeat them by using Wall Strap, okay? So as you can see, you cannot be damaged here, but you can damage him. Believe me, this is the fastest way to grind as a noob using your combat fight style. Target level is level 55. Okay, so once you reach that level, we are leaving this area. Here are the stats. Melee 145, defense 19. Next island is the Pirate Village. So we're going to do two things here. Grind buggy and grind chests. Okay, so first focus on the chest. And after that, check if buggy is there. And if yes, you're going to use wall strat to defeat him. I am going to show it to you. Guys, you will get damage. Don't worry about that, just follow my stats and you will survive his attacks. So check it out, you can withstand his attacks. There you go, HP is enough. Okay, so guys, you're gonna do server hop with this boss. This is the fastest way. Another tip, once you gain 25,000 bellies, now we have 31, head to the frozen village to buy enhancement, okay? This is really good. For fight styles, there you go, 25,000. Okay, now back to grinding, meaning back to baggy. Guys, we're gonna focus on one on one fights because, again, luring with combat is not really good. Our target here is level 105. And after that, we're gonna check our stats first. There you go, level 106, sorry. Defense 100, melee 217. Okay, so guys, you can buy the dark step here, but we're not gonna buy it yet. Because this is not good for grinding. We are going to save up for the electric fight style for 500,000 belly. Going back to the frozen village, don't forget to buy the sky jump and flash step and head towards the Yeti. So for the technique here, dash forward plus M1 left clicks. That is the only way. Guys, again, we're using combat. So there you go. Dash left click, dash left click, dash left click. There you go, guys. It's easy, right? So just keep on repeating it until you defeat the Yeti, okay? So again, we're gonna do the server up here until you reach level 130. There you go. So after that, checking our stats after this one. Defense is 100 and for melee, it's 292. Next up, the Marine Fortress. Our target here is the Vice Admiral, guys. He's very easy to defeat, don't worry. Not like the Yeti, just lure him here. And same with Bobby Wall Strat, guys. But the difference is you won't get damage. Just use your M1 left clicks, and that's it. Check that out. Very easy. No damage. Okay, there's a chance that this boss will drop the coat, and we are going to use that one. Okay. And since the Vice Admiral gives out a lot of reward, we will be able to buy the Electric Fight Style. Yes. Okay, so let's head to the Skylands. The location of the NPC is here. There you go. And guys, finally, goodbye combat. Hello, electric fight style. This fight style is really good. That's why I chose this one. Check this out, guys. We're gonna use left clicks. See how fast? This is normal speed. See that, guys? Very fast. Okay, so target level here, 220. So once we reach level 220, Next stop is the prison. So we have three bosses here and we're gonna use wall strat on all of them. Guys, I'm gonna make this fast. This is the strongest one, the swan. 
the only boss that can damage you but again don't worry we have lots of HP you're gonna easily defeat this one and since it's just wall strat I'm gonna make this fast here so target level is 350 and after that we are leaving okay checking our stats 300 defense melee 749 next island is the magma village our target here is magma admiral there is no wall strat sorry guys no wall strat but we're gonna use the dash strat so dash strat is dash attack or attack and dash to dodge there you go again attack and dash to dodge and that's it okay very easy again we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 425 after that next island is the underwater city here guys this is a lot easier target is fishman lord so guys you're gonna lure him and wall strat just a reminder this boss can inflict minimal damage we can defeat him in 14 seconds just by using left clicks so guys it's very easy so guys just keep on repeating this so there are no other tips here you're gonna grind here until you reach level 500 and once you reach that level we are leaving this area but stat check first there you go defense 450 melee 1049 guys check this out awaken the user with cyborg race i don't know why it's likely that we're dead there you go anyways our target is the skylands in the upper sky enemy is the whisper so guys technique here let him attack using his bazooka and then left clicks okay again wait there you go attack okay that's it repeat wait attack Okay, very easy we will unlock our electric floor here we are going to skip the thunder god and grind here until reach level 625 okay so next up is the fountain city we are back to the galley pirates but don't worry it's very easy to defeat them now target level is 775 and yes we're gonna skip the cyborg okay for the stats 600 defense melee 1724 now we're gonna buy the Fishman Karate for 750,000 bellies on the underwater city. There you go, it is located here. Again, 750,000 bellies. And let's not forget the Dark Step in the Pirate Village. So guys, we're gonna use the Dark Step from now on. After this, head to the Middle Town. Make sure to finish the prison quest. We're heading to the Second Sea. So for our first goal here is 400 Mastery on the Dark Step. So we're gonna beat Swan Pirates to grind levels and grind mastery, okay? Again, mastery and levels. So I'm gonna show you the skills. This is a flying kick. The breakdance is this one. Okay, so we're gonna un also unlock the barrage here. There you go. And the devil. Oh, okay. So again, at mastery 400, most likely we've reached level 925 there. There you go. After that, we're gonna grind fragments. Yes, grind fragments for a total of 25,000. Yes, we need 25,000 to unlock the god human. So we're gonna do it 25 times. So make sure to give your friend credit for helping you. So shout out to my brother. So next up, we're gonna head to the Ice Castle and beat the Ice Admiral. At 925, he's very easy to defeat. Just do wall strap and that's it. Okay, guys, again, you will get damage. Maybe you will reach a critical level, but it is doable. You can still defeat him. Check this out. This is just fast forwarded. There you go. We're gonna defeat him. Guys, remember the whisper strat. Attack, back, attack, and back. Wait. That's it, okay? So you will get the library key here. There you go. And you will use that to open this door to buy the death step. Again, the requirements 400 master on dark step, 5,000 fragments, and 2.5 million bellies. Okay, so next up is the green zone at 925. Target is Fajita. So guys, if you want, you can do server up with him. But it is very hard. Guys, I'm telling you, it is very hard to defeat him because of his skills. So I suggest just defeat Marine Captains, okay? Focus on the Marine Captains. There you go. Defeat one at a time or the zombies. But guys, I stayed here with Fajita. And you're gonna leave this area at level 1000. Okay, again, level 1000. So let's check our stats. 
Defense 815 melee 2184. Next stop, Snow Mountains. So guys, technique is to defeat the snow troopers one at a time. Again, one at a time. Guys, we still don't have the sea skill. Maybe you can defeat two at a time because of your uh, wind bullet. Or if you want four. So it really depends to you guys. Target level is level 1150. There you go. And after that, next stop is the hot and cold. And the enemy is the smoke admiral. Gamer now, what's the technique? Guys, wall strat. That is our favorite. As you can notice, this boss is one of my favorite bosses in the second C. So guys, we're gonna server hop here. There you go. Oh, by the way, we're gonna unlock the C skill, the Vermilion Drill. Okay, this is really good for multi-target enemies. We're gonna level up here until 1,250. Okay? After that, first ship. And we only have one target here, the ship deckhands. So guys, if you want, you can do wall strat again. Check this out, C skill, they cannot damage you. Because again, there's a wall, or you can defeat him 1v1, okay? So if you're gonna ask me, I'm gonna lure it for, defeat them, no more wall strats. So this will be another easy grind. Target level, 1,350. After that, next stop, the ice castle. Not the sea beast, so we're gonna skip this one. <laughs> For the grind, we're gonna defeat Arctic Warriors one at a time again. Why? Because you still lack the damage to burst 4. But once you unlock the Devil Flames, everything will be easy. You can now lure 4 at a time, do it twice to finish a quest, okay? One combo is enough to burst them. So guys, you're gonna grind here until level 1400. After that, you will unlock the Ice Admiral quest. Remember, we were able to defeat that at an early level. So guys, why not defeat it now, right? So just 25 levels here. At level 1425, we are moving to the final island, okay? And that island is the Forgotten Island. For our target, the Sea Soldiers. So I suggest 1v1 even though you have the Devil's Flames. Because they're hard to defeat. And at 1,475, we're gonna start defeating the Tide Keeper, the boss in this island, to get the water key. Luckily, we were able to get it on our second try. Guys, this is a requirement to get the Sharkman Karate. So you need to give it to Daigrok, and he will sell you the Sharkman Karate. Next up, guys, let's not forget about the Dragon Breath. It costs 1,500 fragments. After that, do the Coliseum quest. Check this out, we got the wire helmet, fight Indra, we used a one mastery dragon breath on that. Next up, head to the green zone, and guys, finally, third C. So for the next step, we need to head to the haunted castle to grind bones. And while grinding bones, we will also grind some masteries for other fight styles. Gamer Gnome, why bones? You will be needing bones in order to spin from Dark King, okay? So for my first 500 bones, I wasted it. We we're kinda unlucky, but it is fine. We were able to grind masteries for other fight styles. Oh, and by the way, guys, on the Castle of the Sea, you can buy every fight style available in the first and second sea, okay? Okay, so let's buy the superhuman for 3 million bellies. Guys, you can buy this in the snow mountains in the second sea, okay? Just saying. And go back to grinding bones and mastery for other fight styles. Luckily, for our second try, for the another 500 bones, we were able to get the Fire Essence. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Guys, Hollow Essence is different, okay? So give it to Yuzoth, and he will then sell you the Dragon Talon. Guys, for me, Dragon Talon is the hardest to acquire because of the Fire Essence. Except God Human, right? Okay, so head to the Chocolate Land. You can do a wall strat here. Yes, on the final mob, with the strongest mob in the game so far. There you go. Guys, I'm talking of mob, not a boss, okay? So you can wall strat him here. Okay, and we're gonna grind 400 masteries using this strategy. Next up, I haven't shown you yet. Floating Island. We can unlock the electric law here. So you need to go to the mansion in 30 seconds. So guys, I use my main account with a door fruit. There you go, and it's done. Okay, very easy. You will buy this for 3 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Go to the chocolate land. Another 400 mastery. 
And once you reach 400 master and all V2 fight styles, you only need 5 million bellies, another 5,000 fragments, and you can now buy the God Human. So guys, we are now heading back to the port town and start grinding finally. So first, the Pistol Millionaires. Guys, I suggest defeat them 1v1 first because we don't have any skills. There you go, guys. It is possible, okay? Okay, there you go. So we will be unlocking our first skill, the Soaring Blast. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And the second skill, Heaven and Earth. There are two ways to use it. One is the short range, but AOE. And one is the long range. For our target level, it is 1,675. For the stats, max melee and defense and that is all we need okay <laughs> so next up is the hydra island and our target here is no other than the island empress so guys did you miss the wall strat because we are going to use it here which means if you're gonna do wall strat you're gonna do server hop also okay so beware of bounty hunters there are lots of one here because of the portal nearby okay so we're gonna unlock the sea skill the six realm gun here i'm gonna show it to you guys this one really looks cool there you go okay so target level here is level 1750 next up is the great tree so guys kinro admiral will be really hard for you because he will be able to attack you right because again you have limited long range attacks so again i suggest just focus on defeating the marine rear admirals okay so defeat one at a time don't worry this one is a lot easier target level is level 1800 Go. So once you reach that level, next up, Floating Turtle. Target is the Fishman Captains, but if you want, I suggest you fight the Forest Pirates, okay? You can wall strat there, but in my case, I skip the Forest Pirates and focus on Fishman Captain. Why Gamer no? Because they're my favorite. <laughs> Target level here is level 1,975. Again, just a reminder for the stats, max melee and defense, that is enough. Next island is a haunted castle and we are back to the reborn skeletons. Guys, we're gonna grind this mob only until you reach level 2075. Okay, we're gonna skip all the mobs here. Next up, the Sea of Treats. So guys, we have the Peanut Scouts on the first island. Guys, you can use X skill and C skill if you want, but best strategy is 1v1. There you go. Is it guys? Very easy. Okay, so guys, target level here is level 2200. After that, we are going to the connecting island. The Cookie Crafters is our target. Guys, it's hard to 1v1 this enemy because it has a long range, it's sword. So I suggest use X and C skill, okay? Because those skills are AoE, multi target. So target level is 2300. And after that, guys, final island, the Chocolate Island with the Coco Warriors. Guys, so I'll be honest, this is the hardest video that I made. So I hope that you enjoyed it. So we're gonna reach max level with this mob. Yes, level 2400. Almost there. X scale. And that's it. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, it is time to rest. And see you on my next video tomorrow. This is Gamer Num. And Gamer Num out.